Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your mid-August 2020 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to those who have done so. Okay, um, moving right along. Jeez, okay, all these cards fell. All right, so, Aqua. Somebody is or was, I feel like it's a was, they, they were showing you a lot of attention, a lot of affection, or, or they were showing you signs of wanting to get back together, wanting to be a family, wanting to be a couple, whatever. And then it kind of fizzled out. Once you started giving this person attention, the attention started to fizzle with them. There's a lot of passion between the two of you, you and this person, but there's also a lot of drama or just a lot of theatrics, which is could be drama. Um, uh, this person will show you that they want you, that they love you. And and look what, what card it, it was resting on. This is how they feel about you. Like, if you are married, then you are the sexy wife. If you're not married, they, will, they would definitely marry you and they, they feel like they would have almost like the trophy wife, a sexy wife, right? They feel like the connection, it could be successful, is mutually beneficial. Um... But then there's separation here. Someone needing to heal. Someone needing to get over. Aquarius woman, it seems like you're coming up as you just want the truth and nothing but it. You won't take anything else but the truth because if someone is in and out, they're hot and cold, they're wishy-washy, one day they want you, the next day, you just, you can't read them, okay? So you're at the place of, let me hear your perspective. This is what you're saying to your person. I'll hear you out. I'll, I'll take on your perspective, or not take it on, but I will definitely take it into account. But I've made up my mind about you. It is the fact, and my mind is made up that we need a break. We need to be done for now because... I have to make a decision about this relationship. So I need a break. I need a break from, from this relationship. Because some of you, this person's energy, their in and out, is taking you to a place of stress. Sleepless nights. Wondering. You know, just as they are in and out and hot and cold about you, that's now your emotions are just that that same way one one minute you're happy about this and the next minute you're not or the next day you're not and, and you're now on that roller coaster too this person may play mind games and tricks and still have things that they haven't told you still still have one last some bullshit up their sleeve because they're very insecure and if you were ever to really and some of you know that this person is insecure uh just because you can pick up on it psychologically um they feel like they're getting away with this with they feel like you don't know that they're insecure but the most insecure people have the most theatrics and drama. And um, they just cause so much strife and stress to others. Because if ever you were to find them out, quote unquote, you've already found them out, Aquarius. But if ever you were to find them out, they would uh, they probably crumble like a cookie. 
But Aquarius, you already know. You are, and some of you already know that somebody is um, still holding another relationship in some regard. Not in the highest regard. Maybe the relationship with you is higher, but you're still somebody sneaking off, sneaking out. There's something about this person, if you're dealing with a male, you don't have to be a woman. It could be any dynamic. I don't know. Um, so this, this male, this guy is keeping something from you because, he, and it might be an insecurity. Something's going on here. Uh, this could be definitely a relationship. This person keeps a lot of people around or a lot of women around or at bay just to feed their first of all their insecurity and to feed their ego it makes them feel good to know that they can have access to many different options and maybe sneak out and duck out with those other options at times So with all of this said, and you Aquarius, and, and, and Aquarius, you could be doing this to somebody. I feel like it's more of an Aquarius man. Just uh, what I'm seeing here. Um, with all of this said, there is an Aquarius who is so many... Okay, I'm, I just I have to stop because there's so much going on. Okay. Um, you're saying this is too much. So I need to retire this relationship. Hence the four swords. Now for some of you, the retirement is going to be short term. Maybe because you guys are a family, you have children, or just because you want and you need the space to make a decision about this relationship. Um, are you staying in it or are you leaving? For some of you who are a family and married, yes, you, your partner or you, Aquarius, I don't know. It's still seeing someone else. They have a lot of passion for you and someone else, okay? And this is an open relationship in their mind, okay? And for you, um, it could have been a, um, a solid... It, in your mind, you're married, you're in a relationship, you're in a commitment but for the other person. They're in an open relationship. It says friendship. Somehow, friendship is going to bring you a lot of solace. A lot of um, just, just being happy. Um, because this person is still on their bullshit. They're still on it. Some of you, you took a break from someone and then you came back together and you're realizing that not much has changed. You're at a point of, I'm not letting it go, but I'm not giving too much energy to it either. Because when I was giving so much energy to it, it was stressing me out. Your person or you Aquarius could be saying, Please work with me. And they want you to work with them because Four of Wands, the Strength card, and the Knight of Pentacles. They do have long-term plans for you. I didn't even notice my pill bottle was here. Yeah, anyway. Um, they do have long-term plans for you.
this card, you know, everybody knows. I mean, it's the slowest night in the day, blah, blah, blah. But this also sometimes means a person can first meet you and get to know you over a short period of time and know that you're the one. Know that they always want to keep you in their life in some capacity because eventually, eventually, the slowest night in the deck, right? Eventually, this person wants to settle down. This is um, honoring a commitment. So this is why your person is saying, please work with me. Aquarius, the cards are telling you, hey, if you believe, you can have this with that person, but it's really up to you. They're also telling some of you there's something better here. And it's that even through this bullshit that this person is still on, remain positive and take action to join in, right, with friendship groups. Because this is the only way you're going to remain or, or maintain your sanity. Because if you keep after this relationship, then the mental capacity falls down. See, your person is coming up as the Four of Cups. I see what's in front of me. And I want Aquarius to work with me. And I'm happiest when I'm with Aquarius. But I still love hoes. Okay? I see Aquarius. But I still love them hoes. Okay? I see that you're great. But I also see these hoes. Somebody can't let. Their desires for other people, other women, go. They can't, they just can't do it. And this is what they're holding from you. Okay? It's almost as if they want to, once again, keep you in their life because they know, they see, they see you. They know that you're a gift from the heavens, sent straight from the heavens. And they're very much in love with you. And they have future plans for you. Or some of them are waiting to, to come back home. So some of you Aquarius kick someone out. Okay? But that's another story. But even in all of this, it looks like Aquarius is, Aquarius is saying, I feel different about this relationship now. Or, some, or you did something, or, or vice versa, Aquarius, you did something to the other person. Where they're just like, now the dynamic of this relationship has changed, is changed. So, therefore, I'm changing my mind. I thought I wanted this. I thought I couldn't live without it. But I'm realizing through spiritual growth that this is... Um, this is growing me. This is showing me maybe what I need versus what I want. This is um, showing me that I can have what I want, you know, if I believe. But you can have what you want, but it's not necessarily going to come to you in the fashion that you think is coming or it's not happening in the in the order that you think so maybe for some of you this is growing you okay you want the tall dark handsome male who makes six figures or above but you don't but everybody wants that person everybody wants that male so now you're finding yourself in an open relationship even if you're married to this person. They say a man is as faithful as his options. And the more that man makes himself attractive to the opposite sex, the more options he has. So 
deaths for somebody, but Aquarius, the cards are asking you to compromise. Okay? And it's saying that someone, it says, look, look at this, compromise and please work with me. Someone can't and doesn't want to let you go, but they aren't exactly giving you your happy ending how you feel like it should come or what they should be doing or what they should be saying or whatever. But the cards want you to comp compromise because romance is here, okay? Uh, in the near future, if you allow it. Some of you need to grieve and you need to do the grief work. If it's crying, if it's whatever, let it out. Your person is saying, and, and, and do we have take the next step now? Okay. And then we have in another deck, take action. Take action to secure your own sanity, Aquarius, because you cannot control this person, nor can they control you. Um, it looks like you're going to get what you want, but it's a hurry up and wait situation. It's a, this person needs to spiritually grow also. So you got to hurry up and wait for your person. You may be there, but they aren't. Your person is very remorseful, even in the midst of still bringing drama and bullshit. Because they say, I'm sorry, I was an idiot. Yeah, they were, or they are. And they could have been dealing with someone who was after them for money or Aquarius you feel like someone was after you for money or what you deem as high value or important to you uh, maybe they were just after the sex or your companionship your trust uh, Someone, Aquarius, put you down for another person. And they realize this person was a gold digger. This person was no good or is no good. And now they're they're wanting a chance with the Aquarius. They're saying, please work with me. Because you're dealing with a, a very insecure person. They want you as their wife or husband. But it, it's... um. But they can't seem to let other relationships go. You see? The best advice for you, Aquarius, is to know that if you want this person, it looks like it will eventually. I don't know what that will be. Eventually happen for you. But you have to let this person work themselves out. Okay? Aquarius. So, funny. We have some spell cards. The Everyday Practical Spell Book. Or spell cards. It says, no more stress spell. And what I'm, I think what I'm going to do is take a picture of this and post it in the community section. So if you want to do this spell, you could do it. So if you don't want any more stress, no more stress spell, um, you know, they're just telling you to get some herbs, some garlic, some rosemary, um, and they tell you what kind of stress to get rid of, anxiety, de depression, exhaustion, um, being lethargic, and just overall stress, okay? It tells you to get some deal, uh, some thyme, some mistletoe. So if you want to take advantage of that, I will post this also. 
yeah, Aquarius, this is time for you to heal from dealing with so much bullshit, right? So it says the herbal healing essence. So, um, yeah, once again, it's telling you to crush a mixture of rosemary, sandalwood, petals of a red carnation, okay? Um, and, and, and telling you how to use it just to, just to heal. Um, if you want to take advantage of that, I'm going to post that also. Aquarius, um, yeah, thank you for being here. I hope that everything turns out well for you. It looks like it will, it, but not before this person gets themselves together, okay? And the cards may also be telling you to, if you haven't withdrawn, withdraw. Withdraw from this person. Take your energy back and just rest and heal and be around friends. Um, join a group, join a, a club, anything to get your mind off of the drama that this person brings. Um, and they bring drama because, once again, they're very insecure. Um, if you would like a personal reading, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Um, it's phone, Zoom, Skype, or WhatsApp. That's it. So you will be talking. We'll be having a conversation if you book a reading. There are no video recorded readings. Um, also, if you don't want to take advantage of that, you can always text text the number below a question. Um, I'll pull some cards for you. Uh, give you the answer to your question via your mobile device also, via text. So take advantage of that. Um, Aquarius, thank you. Many blessings to you. Bye.